joke? No. How dare you? How dare you do this to your father and I? How, how dare you do this to this family? How could you think this would be okay? What are people going to think of us? I don't even understand what you're... What are you even saying? You mean my financial aid didn't cover my tuition? How is that even possible? Please hold. And now you gonna put me on hold? Thank you, Yo, man, who the hell are you? Can't you see I'm on the phone right now? Sorry, I was just trying to introduce myself. Oh yeah, don't. You're interrupting me. Touch me and all that, man. Relax, relax. Hey, wait, man, my bad, bro, my bad, my bad. I'm, I'm just having a bad day financial aid over here. BSing me, man, it's just not my day. I'm so sorry, man. I'm Chris. Glenn. What was that? You, you, you must have never gave a dap before, huh? Uh, dap? Yes, yes. You not have black friends? Oh, so it's like a black, black? No, it's not a black thing. I do that to everybody, but I don't know what that was. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. You did. You did. Yeah, we're gonna work on you having some black friends. You're not me, but yeah, that's that right there. Ooh, no, never again. Let's just stick to this. Cool, cool, cool. Now, now shoot before I hit you. Okay. Hello. Thank you. Hi, Glenn, right? Hey, you must be Tiffany. Yeah, oh my gosh, hi. Yeah, nice to meet you. How are you? Good. Oh. How oh, are you here? Let me take your bags. Your room's right upstairs. Wait. Let's put this on Instagram. Excuse me? What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought this was my room. Shh. Mr. Pokelope is trying to eat. You're interrupting his focus. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, do you know where my room is? Shh. back in the city. He called him Gio. Why you look all tight? Loosen up, man. You do seem kind of scared about something. What, did the spirits reveal themselves while you were unpacking? Uh, spirits? Like alcohol? Yes, spirits. The kind that possess Tiffany when she comes home at night. Their names are Jose, Jack, and Smyrna. Rude. Damn, B, calm down with that moaning murder with that shit. It's, it's my fault, uh, I don't really drink. That's cool. I mean, more for the rest of us, right? <laughs> yeah. But I mean, man, uh, where are you from? I mean, you did transfer in two months into the semester. Yeah. Why did you move in halfway through the year? Did you finally break out of your little shell at home or something? Oh, come on, Beatrice. Let's not act like you're all normal with that little fish thing you have. His name is Mr. Pokelope. But I know you've seen that weird ass shit she does with that fish, honey. Don't listen to them. He's diabetic. I am not diabetic. <laughs> Look, Glenn, we're just poking a little bit of fun at you because we want to see if you're chill or not. And trust me, you have got to be chill with these two. Thanks. I appreciate those uh, semi-weird apologies. Anytime, brother man, anytime. But really, why, why are you just not moving in? 
Well, I did a study abroad this summer and I ended up staying a little longer than I expected. I'm actually surprised with how cool the university has been about it. Man, forget the university. It's already been hard paying my rent here, and in fact, they messed up my tuition. It's blowing my mind. I'm mad. Oh, I wouldn't know anything about that. I'm on a scholarship. On a scholarship? Damn, you're lucky. Damn. Must be nice, huh? Is that my school and pay for? Good morning! As you know, I'll be in the Bahamas until next month, but don't think I've forgotten about my favorite little group of students. Now then, a quick reminder to rate the leaves before the third Wednesday of the month. Additionally, in light of the sudden, unfortunate departure of you know who, electricity will not be in the name of the universe. Have homework too in an hour. Damn guys, sucks to suck. Guess just should have been more prepared. We all know that you only use your computer for porn anyways, fuck boy. <laughs> Is you mad? Or no? Guys, guys, where's the breaker box? Maybe it was a fuse or something. Thank you, Glenn, for being the only one here who's trying to find a solution instead of blaming me. A fuse wouldn't cause power in the whole house to go out. Do you guys know anything at all about electricity? Yeah, and... Wait, what's a breaker box? Yep, definitely not the breaker box. Great, now I'm gonna look like a hot mess for my date tonight. I should just call and cancel now. Wait, let me help you. I could braid your hair or something. Really? Thanks, Glenn. Dude, really? Braver. Come on, ignore him, let's go. Hey, B. Hey. Chris, look what you did! My bad. I couldn't see it. Now he can't eat until I go to the store tomorrow. You know he's diabetic. He needs to eat. He can't miss a meal? Relax, Velma. Came here to offer you my computer because I know you think this is my fault. And I'm just trying to make it up to you. This is your fault, Chris. You don't think about anybody but yourself. Ugh, you're so annoying. So, uh, yeah, that's a no on the computer, huh? Get out! Thanks for doing this again for me, by the way. Oh, don't mention it. This stuff really relaxes me. You know what relaxes me? Um, a hot shower. No, alcohol. Want some? Oh, no thanks. Okay. So, what's up with that old answering machine in the living room? Oh, that's our weird landlord. She just reminds us to pay bills and gives us tips on how to keep the house in shape. Stuff like that. Oh. Why do you ask? Well, this morning I played one and she mentioned something about the fact that the electricity bill was moving under Beatrice's name, and that was like right when the power cut out. Which <laughs> might actually be why the power got shut off. Oh no, I feel awful. I should have realized that sooner. Do you think she's gonna be mad? Wait, who are you texting? Beatrice? And why are you hiding in the closet? You're gonna pay for this more than one way, you bloody boy! So, <laughs> it's breakfast at Tiffany's. <laughs> Power's back. Great.
guys, the landlord sent us something. Good morning, tenants. It has come to my attention that the power outage yesterday was due to the unpaid outstanding bill left to Beatrice, and I would like to stress that failure to pay on time in the future will violate your lease contract. <laughs> no, I, I didn't hear that. Nope. That's on y'all. Y'all gotta pay that. I didn't know. Well, now you know. Whatever, just read the rest. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Potential leasers touring the house this week. Blah, blah. Wait. It says we have to keep the house spotless or else we'll violate the lease. What? I'm the messy one? <laughs> Please. And now it's all of our asses on the line. Yeah. Can you get out of the kitchen? We're trying to cook. No. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to apologize for earlier. I didn't realize we weren't supposed to listen to the voicemails alone. I don't sweat it, bro. People make mistakes. <sighs> Fine. I forgive you, Glenn. Thanks, B. And listen, guys, I promise to do my part this weekend keeping the house spotless. I'll clean the kitchen, the living room, the bathroom. Hey, yeah, about that. See, I had this chili from the other day, some leftovers, ooh. Yeah, that, that toilet downstairs, it may or may not be broken. It's disgusting. Cookie. Okay. up. Like we're all screwed. Guys, we can't give up. We still have people coming over tomorrow morning. I can't afford to get evicted. You can't afford to be evicted? What about us? Besides T here with her richy rich lawyer pair. Shut up, Chris. You don't know my life. I know you get bailed out of parking tickets and from your car being taken. At least you have a car. I didn't move in late because of my study abroad. I lied. What? What other reason would it be? Before I went on my study abroad, I came out to my parents, and they nearly disowned me. And then when I got to Spain, they didn't even contact me once. The truth is, I came back late because I was afraid to go home. And now I'm here because I have nowhere else to go. Glenn, why didn't you tell any of us? We had no idea. I don't know. I guess I was just scared. Yeah, why didn't you tell any of us? Like, I thought out you would watch me take my shirt off last week. You're not my type. Cool. So I like to hear. But if, if you do want to talk about it being rough back at home, imagine where I come from. I'm the only person in my family that's made it to college. So if I mess this up, they'll be devastated. Same. My parents already think I'm a failure. After my last MIP, I became the laughing stock of the whole family. If I keep screwing up, I might as well kiss law school goodbye. Fine. Obviously, I'm not the easiest person to get along with. I've lost count of how many times I've had to switch sweetmates back in the dorms. 
And even though we're all just stuck in this insane lease, you guys are the closest things to real friends that I've got. Nope, uh-uh, I ain't having it. Enough of this breakfast club crap. We know what we gotta do, so let's do it. Cotton ball, art brown.